In today's world of rapidly evolving web applications, building a flexible and maintainable web API is a must. With the power of c Swagger, and Clean Architecture, you can create an API that is not only easy to develop, but also a breeze to integrate with other services. Whether you are a seasoned developer or just starting out, our guide to building a c web API with Swagger and Clean Architecture is the perfect starting point to get you on the road to success. Join us on this journey and modernize the way you develop web APIs. A web API is an application programming interface that allows different systems to communicate with each other over the internet. In the context of web development, a web API usually refers to a set of HTTP protocols with common methods like get, post, put, and delete. A web API provides a standard interface for accessing data or functionality from a remote server or service. I like to think of the web API as a backend of whatever application or website that you are developing. The thing I really like about it, it, it allows interaction regardless of the technologies used by each application, which means a web API developed in c can still be accessed by um, an app that was developed in Flutter or in JavaScript or in Golang or any other language of that matter. Another fundamental concept of this course will be clean architecture. What this is, is an architectural pattern that focuses on three main things. Clear separation of concerns. This refers to a principle of dividing the components or software uh, systems into distinct or independent parts where each part is responsible for a specific set of tasks or functionality. In Clean Architecture, this is achieved by organizing the code into layers or modules, each with a clear and well-defined responsibility and with minimal or no knowledge of the other parts of the system. This promotes flexibility, making it easier to update, modify, and extend the system without disrupting other parts of the architecture. And of course, my favorite part, unit testing. This architecture ensures the testability and maintainability of your system. More of which you will see it on the example that I'm gonna be providing along on this course. Another concept being Swagger. Swagger is an open source software framework that allows developers to design, build, and document web APIs. It provides a standardized, machine-readable way to describe and interact with web APIs, making it easier to develop and consume APIs. So for today's example, we are going to be building a simple web service that allows users to manage their to-do list. I know this is a very simple example. Uh, we should just be writing a few lines of code and then we're done with it. But I tried to just complicate the structure or just so that we can try to go through each and every layer of this um, architecture. The first one being the API wherein we will try to just put the controllers and any validators validating any request that comes into our API. And we're going to have the application layer, which basically just only depends on the domain layer. And it has logic that is specific to that app only files being service implementation, interfaces, mapper, exception, commands, query. Um, some of this, we might not really use them in this example, but it's worth um, mentioning. The domain will just be having the, it's for both application and repository. So it will be having your, inter your entities, your interfaces, enums, and it can be shared across the whole organization or com company as opposed to the application layer that is only specific to a specific app. Then we have as well the layer, which is the infrastructure. This has classes to access file system, web services, SMTP, any repository code, which means if we want to write some entity framework stuff in here, we have to put them here. Um, and as well, obviously, the unit testing, which I'm just going to try to use only um, an unit. Thanks for spending your precious time with me today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, ring the notification bell. And remember, stay tuned for the next one. Cheers.